pond in the wildlife area up at White Oak Mountain and all these exposures of the Triassic sandstones and siltstones and conglomerates are really obvious here and if you look at this large rock here stone if you look closely this is a typical conglomerate and although there's small pebbles in it they're well rounded and they're re-cemented together with a finer sandstone which is typically what your books and what we all call pudding stone or conglomerate. Now if you can home in on it close we'll take a look at some of the pebbles and all that are in it. All right now typically a conglomerate is when you have rounded pebbles those pebbles that were probably rounded in a stream bed and became part of the sand pebble mixture and later on was turned to rock and that's a process of diagenesis which is the rock is hardened and then sometimes it's re-cemented with silica or quartz and it's totally hard and, and the fact that you have these larger rounded pebbles in there makes it your typical pudding stone or conglomerate. Now here we have a typical rock pile that the farmers, when they used to plow these fields and plant in here, would pile these up out of the way so at least they could some, have some usable land. And if you look real closely at one of these, there's a typical excellent conglomerate here. Notice that the larger, actually quartz pebbles, not even completely rounded, are in a matrix of fine sandstone, and that's a very typical conglomerate right there. As you can see, smaller pebble, and look at the larger ones here. And you know that at one time this was was at, probably at the bottom of a stream, and re-cemented into sandstone later on. 